Hey everyone and welcome to a late night stock talk for November 28th. Here's the S&P 500 yearly chart and what an incredible update and today's update was really made possible by uh, Jerome Powell who talked about, you know, gave a slightly different tone, I guess, uh, in terms of interest rates or the lack thereof uh, in terms of next year um, interest rate hikes. So that was very interesting and hence gave a huge boost to the markets today. And you can see from here that we've had a very, very nice update. As a matter of fact, we took out several major resistance areas and we closed pretty much at the peak of the day. Now, um, now that we've had this up move, um, we can certainly in the next tomorrow, let's say, go sideways, come down a little bit um, before moving higher. And you can see, obviously see now that we've crossed the 20 period moving average, that the next resistance area that I'm looking for will be 280 to 281. Uh, again, I don't change these lines. These lines are for everyone or areas or resistance areas are for everyone to see. And here's the next boxed area, 280 to 281. Like I say to all my members, we are really taking this a day at a time and um, so far, Remember what the theme of the week was when I presented the stock talk on Monday. The theme of the week is continuation. So far, we've had a continuation. Like, and like what we had today, we have a significant update. And so you can imagine if we come down tomorrow and retrace a portion of the move, it's not unusual, but we will still be on an uptrend near term. So make sure you have that um, straight. Uh, for example, you can imagine tomorrow, what if we come down and test the 20 period moving average? Are we going to be going back down? Not necessarily. So keep that in mind. And taking a look at TVIX or volatility. So looking at volatility here, uh, we do see that volatility uh, did continue on lower. So we've talked about the 200 period moving average or the red line acting as a resistance. And once again, you can see that we've gotten rejected and we're moving on lower. So the one thing that you want to keep in mind in the meantime is that here we can see that the 50 period moving average act as a support. So once again, we're nearing the 50 period moving average. Can that act as a support again? We can, but remember the overall momentum is to the downside. So, um, you know, you can imagine uh, if SPY does go down a little bit, we might have some sort of small bounce on volatility, uh, but this overall tr trend continues to go lower. Now let's tackle a couple of commodities. Uh, we'll start with, of course, uh, let's start with four slash NG or natural gas. So. With natural gas, remember what we've talked about. Um, I, I really talk about these in terms of general market movement, but I also talk about commodities because uh, sometimes they're more predictable than you think. Um, sometimes they're harder to predict. We'll talk about gold in a moment. So here we go. Here's natural gas, and you can see today we've had a really nice up move again. And not up move to where? back to the resistance area. The major resistance line stemming from months prior is 4.86. Around that general vicinity is the uppermost realm of resistance. Now, my point here being is I talked about this. Natural gas up to the end of the month isn't going to give us a reversal signal. What does that mean? It's not going to come down and end ourselves at 3.80 or 3.768 at the end of the month. When does the end of the month close? Well, it's by the end of this week. It's not going to be down here. So what does that mean? In my opinion, if you're shorting natural gas anytime before this, you might be a little ahead of the game. Again, this is a game of probabilities. Stock market is, commodity is, and you can imagine um, uh, that you know today we have had a nice rise. Now, the question is, can we go higher? Of course we can, but once again, your risk is higher going into a natural gas position um, now that we're nearing resistance. So I'll be more interested into a natural gas short at the end of the month, but for now, we'll have to let natural gas be, but this up move shouldn't have been a surprise to anyone. Crude oil. Uh, crude oil, again, this is not a surprise to anyone that crude oil moved lower. We talked about how this is a bearish, and this is, you know, you look at this many times, you see down move, 
bearish pattern down move bearish pattern down move bearish pattern down move now this time around you can see we did go down but we held the support interestingly enough right but our next support line is 49.28 so can we move even lower before moving higher and the answer is yes of course we can so this analysis hasn't changed natural gas analysis hasn't changed so what else is there to say this is likely to push lower until said otherwise right so uh, crude oil that's that now here's the deal can crude oil continue on you know today we might we fail today could it continue move a little bit higher maybe even gravitate a little bit higher before pushing lower of course it can of course it can you know so don't be surprised if it can it moves a little higher but i'm talking about overall momentum is being pushed to the downside four slash gc or gold futures now gold futures um upon uh you know powell's remarks about interest rates today did push higher today um so you can see that we did push higher and but the thing is we're still closing we're not closing above 1242 right that's the major point of emphasis we only pushed towards the near term i guess resistance area or the past few days we've had a resistance area of 1228 and that's where we're settled at okay so be it right but you can't really do much with this chart in my opinion because while this is and could be bullish at what time point will that actually pan out that could be until next year until we break over 1242 so keep that in mind uh, because while gold is bullish it could take time to pan out let's take a look at your comments starting with albert uh crude oil is a tricky one thanks to trump uh we see stocks uh dwindling in this sector enjoy your trading thank you very much for your comment i um enjoy all of everyone's got not only you know everyone's comments because it everyone's comment in my opinion has an insightful meaning everyone sees the chart maybe a little bit different but it all pools together into a solid analysis just it's not just me spewing out things for you guys to listen to right guys and girls so thank you mike uh thanks for another great video can i take a look at a ticker so i'll tackle one of your ticker which is brkb uh well actually let's let's take a look at vz then is that one all right so we'll take a look at one of them uh vz is of course verizon and verizon from what we can see right now you can see that back here what were you doing it looks like it now that we can see it it was more of a bull flag pattern before we pushed higher then we consolidated here pushed higher consolidated here so you can imagine where is your safest point of entry well actually your safest point of entry and this one has been rather immune to market movements right is actually the, the 20 period moving average which is situated around 59 dollars. so that's around one dollar away this one doesn't move too quickly for that you know for example uh, it doesn't move too quickly so you certainly have some leeway i think this is a good one to look at uh, this is on an uptrend so very good i like this trend so the thing is can we form another bull flag before another push higher the answer is yes of course we can so good one to look at thank you mike uh Gerald, um can we take a look at wb instead thank you so of course welcome back uh garl garl um so what are we seeing right here so this is wb okay so looking at the yearly chart what can you say this is obviously on a declining pattern right and of course you can see that earnings came out and we got towards the 50 period moving average before getting rejected again isn't that interesting how we get near the 50 period moving average before getting rejected what do you think i'm looking for on a daily basis for this one to actually break the trend to break the 50 period moving average right until we can break over the 50 period moving average this is going to be on a declining pattern and one can actually ask yourself why were we unable to close above because we initially did push higher but we closed below the 50 period why were we unable to close below above the 50 period moving average until we can see some more evidence and verification of that to happen this is going to be continuing on a downward streak so thank you for that all right gurp let's take a look at amd we'll just take a look at one of your tickers so here is amd now amd you can see that it's been moving lower but 
near term, it's been fluctuating at the 200 period moving average. Can you see this acting as support, acting as a support? So the one thing that you want to be cautious of for AMD is that we do have a resistance area, a gap fill area around 2280. Okay, that is a resistance area and we're getting close to that. Until we can surpass that area and possibly confirm, this is um, there's not much you can do with this chart. Uh, and, and especially if you look at this long term, uh, I've showed people on the really the monthly time frame, um, the 20 year monthly time frame. This is uh, worrisome in terms of a monthly time frame because of a major resistance area. You can see that the major resistance area is coming down through this way. Can you see that? So it's worrisome because we've had resistance areas in the past. And in the past, while we could have an up move, the overall trajectory in the main the main stage of this is to the downside. So just be careful on the longer trajectory. Um, but first of all, in the near term, we have to surpass, in my opinion, the gap fill area. Okay, so, um, all right, Parker, thank you everyone. Uh, Addy Boy, K9, Ben, uh, I didn't get to all of your tickers, but I'll certainly get to those tickers um, on the next video. Uh, so be sure to keep commenting. Thank you, everyone. Check out the course if you have not already in the description box down below. The course talks about all these trends, how I personally analyze these trends in much greater detail. And uh, you also get access to the Discord chat group. So we're very active. We talk about trends broad market movement every single day. So check out the course if you haven't. Leave a like in this video if you haven't already, if you enjoyed this video. If you don't, no harm, no foul. I'll see you guys later. Please enjoy your day. And of course, happy trading. <laughs>